Hi, I'm Dr. Chuck. Today we're going to be talking about the number one reason why people do not see a dentist. It's probably not what you're thinking, so stay tuned to Your Filthy Mouth and see what you can learn. Your smile is beautiful and possibly deadly. Dr. Chuck is here to tell you how your mouth can hold the key to your overall health. Now, about that filthy mouth of yours. Hi, I'm Suzanne Lynn, and I'm here with Dr. Chuck and with Dexter. Um, so thank you for coming to Your Filthy Mouth. We are fostering little Dexter till we find a home for him, and he was crying, so we're just going to make him part of the show today, it's right? It's family time. Yeah. So thank you for being here. We want you to um, just subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the episodes, and also... The information that Dr. Chuck is sharing is so valuable. He's not selling anything. You just really just want to get the word out about how what happens in your mouth is affecting the rest of your body. So please share it with your network, your social media, tell people at work and home about how important it is to have good regular um, checkups. So today we're going to be talking about the number one reason people don't go to the dentist. And I wanted to be sure you didn't tell me ahead of time. So I nope. was totally surprised nope. on the air. And um yeah, I guess I'm, I'm going to just go with money, the number one reason people don't go. That's actually number three. Okay. And when I saw it, it was like, oh, my gosh, that makes complete sense, but you never think about it. Right. Okay. Right. So, uh, but let's look first at the, the, the reasons why people do see a dentist. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Some people see a dentist because they've got pain. They've got a toothache. they got to go, go to a dentist. Many people go to the dentist on a regular basis because they want to keep a healthy mouth. Right. You know, so there are different reasons why people, some people go to see the dentist because they want to change their smile or because they want to chew better. Those mm -hmm. are reasons. Aesthetics. Yeah. Yep. yep. But mm -hmm. let's look at the reasons why people don't go to the dentist. Okay. The number one reason why people do not see a dentist is da -da -da -da. lack of pain. Lack of pain. Really? Yep. Nothing hurts. I don't need a dentist. Interesting. There's no reason I should go there. There's, there's, why do I need a dentist? There's no pain. I'm fine. Ah, okay. That's, and, and it makes I sense when you think that about one. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. With the, my first thing was fear, which is actually sure. number two. Okay. So, but lack of pain is the number one reason. And here's the big problem with lack of pain. I'm just going to look at my notes so I can okay, make sure yeah, I follow yeah, this. Yeah. According to the Center for Disease Control, CDC, 70% of the population over the age of 65 has periodontal disease. How much? What percentage? 70% of the population of the United States over the age of 65 has periodontal disease. Wow. That's huge. That's 7 out of 10 people have gum disease going on. Yeah. They've already proven that the bacteria in gum disease are causative for cardiovascular disease. That's mm -hmm. a huge, we got the links to the research on the website. So please go to yourfilthymouth.com, look at the links. We're not making this stuff up, okay? So what that means, like the non-technical way is that a good portion of heart attacks are possibly caused because of bacteria in the mouth. According to the researchers, mm -hmm. 40 to 50% of heart attacks are caused wow. by oral infections. Tooth infections, wow. gum infections, oral infections. Okay, now we'll, let's go through this again. Okay. Okay, we've got 70% that have some type, 70% of adults over 65 have, have, have uh, periodontal disease. Okay. okay. Periodontal disease has the bacteria that causes cardiovascular disease. 90% of oral infections have absolutely no pain. Wow. Okay. People yeah. think that it's going to hurt. If I've got a problem with my body, I'm, it's going to hurt somewhere, right? right? High blood pressure, diabetes, glaucoma, cancer, there's no pain. Right. So when you keep waiting for the pain, just because it doesn't hurt doesn't mean it's healthy. Right. Well, so you've got this gum disease going on. Again, 70%, 7 out of 10, have this gum disease going on inside of them, dumping the bacteria that causes cardiovascular disease, absolutely no pain. Uh, 50% of heart attack, 40 to 50% come from oral infections. Wow. Let's connect the dots. Let's see what's happening here. Um, so there's no pain, there's no motivation to go. Right. You know? So what's the key? Get an exam, get an oral examination from a qualified dentist, from a good dentist, okay. you know, because you've got to know what's going on inside of your mouth. As of right now, this is 2019, generally speaking, physicians don't ask for a report about the oral health of your mouth, okay? The physician has no idea what's going on. But everything you're talking about is, is, is or things that they would see, diabetes, glaucoma, heart attack, Alzheimer's, These but are they're not all making the... 
the connection. Not making the right. connection. And that's what we're trying to see. Mm. A lot of times we're treating symptoms. What's the source? Many times the source is right under your nose. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's wow. your mouth. So that's why we're asking you to share this information because having a healthy mouth is attainable for everybody. Mm. You don't need a Hollywood smile to have a healthy mouth. The first thing you can start with is what you do at home. Okay, that's number one. So let's not blame the dentist for your bad teeth. Let's see what you can do at home between your diet, your home care. You know, what kind of, of time are you spending on your own, own sure. home? People spend more time taking care of their vehicle. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. They make sure that car is nice and shiny and looks great. Mm -hmm. Okay? But their own mouth? Mm -hmm. eh, you know, mm -hmm. that's kind of your grill, too. That's part of your car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> part of your transportation. It's your vehicle. Yeah, it I sure mean, the is. vehicle we get around in doesn't have four wheels. It has two legs. Right. And this is why you have to take care of that vehicle. Wow. So, uh, but this is, that's it's when you, when you think about it, mm -hmm. we just need to help connect the dots between what's happening in here and the rest of the mouth. We have to share this information and understand that just because it doesn't hurt, doesn't mean it's healthy. Doesn't mean it's okay. So you've got to get an exam. You've got to go to a good qualified dentist. We yep. talked before about what a good thorough exam actually consists of. Yep. And uh, and then following through and doing what the expert, the dentist, tells you to do. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Follow through with the treatment. If the physician tells you that you need to get your gum disease taken care of hmm. because that's affecting your heart, okay, you probably are going to have a higher chance of actually doing that work. Right. When the dentist tells you, you need to take care of your gum disease, it's not healthy, and they might, might not connect it to the heart or to some of these other issues, but they're telling you it's not healthy, go ahead and get your, your periodontal disease taken care of, your gum disease taken care of, get your cavities taken care of. If you've got any dental infections, any abscesses, this is the front door to your whole body. Right. So the whole idea is let's clean this thing up, mm. you know, and then I say, your physician might not ask, but now you know. Right. So between your dentist and your physician, let's get some communication. And you may have to ask your dentist, would you please send the results that you find in my mouth? Would you please send that information to my physician so that my physician can do a better job, has more information when they start making recommendations for my treatment? Because it could get you off uh, medications, right? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, once you take care of oral infections many of these other issues just tend to go away. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I don't care where the infection is your body. If it happens to be your mouth, take care of it. Right. If it's your hand, if it's your foot, take care of it. It's the same process, except for the mouth is a wet, warm, dirty place that bacteria go like crazy. Why do we think about the mouth as being a different part of your body? I mean, if, if the doctor said, Hey, you've got to take this medicine to take care of your your you know heart that beats too fast or something. You would do that, but well, why doesn't the doctor tell us you need to take care of your mouth because your heart is bad? Well, and, I don't and, understand. And, at some point in time, at some point, the, the dentists well, the, uh, the dentists have their schools, the physician have their schools, and it seems like there's there's just not the communication. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that it's being taught more today that we need to we need to work with each other because we're working on the same body. Right. And right. and if there's no pain, but it's affecting the rest, by golly, this thing is important. So yeah. um, that's the whole idea is we're, we're leaving it up to the patient, to the family. You find out how healthy your mouth is. Make sure there are no infections going on. Mm. So many infections, like we said, 90% have no pain. So get a good exam, find out what's going on. If there's nothing, wonderful, let's keep it that way. If there is something going on, get it taken care of because mm. the mouth has you've got infections you have airway which is you have to make sure you can breathe at night right okay sure. and you also have the bite because when the bite is off that can cause headaches neck aches a lot of other things so it's not just a pretty smile and chewing your food and, mm. and that is way more than that all right well we've got a question coming up and it's coming from missy so uh, hang on we're going to get right to that and then we'll wrap up the three takeaways from today's episode there you go thank you here's dr chuck's question of the week Okay, Dr. Chuck, today's question comes from Missy, and she was saying that her husband chews tobacco and that she's very worried about cancer. She's a lot more worried about him getting cancer than he is, yeah. and what should she be looking for for signs of cancer, or what should she be looking for? Uh, well, she sh maybe should be looking for a new husband. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's nothing to play with, you know? Right. People think that, that it's, a, yeah, it's no big deal, it's just oral cancer. Yeah, oral cancer is horrible. It's no fun. And you have to look mm -hmm. at what are the factors that, that you know, chewing tobacco, other tobacco, mm -hmm. uh, dipping, uh, 
I, many miles I'll look into where the, the usually as guys are doing it. Occasionally there's a grandmother or two. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, you look inside there and you can see all these white wrinkles going in there. Uh, they call that a precancerous condition. Doesn't mean it, it is cancer, but that tissue has a much higher susceptibility of becoming cancerous. Uh, whenever you have oral cancer, the surgery is usually mm -hmm. very disfiguring. Um, you uh -huh. lose part of a tongue, half a jaw. Um, and what I tell, in fact, what I was telling this, this one young guy that he had it all in there, I said, you got a couple of kids, don't you? He said, yeah. He said, boys, he started telling me about the boys. And I said, you know, your boys need a dad. They really wow. do. And uh, wow. he looked at, he, he got to thinking about that and mm -hmm. uh, he quit right away no because there, you know, that's quite a heavy price to pay. And if you've ever seen someone who's been after this surgery, I mean, you can't unring a bell. So wow. uh, the whole idea is take it serious. Um, it's no fun. And uh, okay, you, you know, I, some people have to give up, you know, cigarettes, whatever the heck it is. It's not fun. I'm not saying it's easy. Not giving it up has consequences. That's even more not yeah. fun. So you were saying white wrinkles. I wonder if we could put a link to maybe a picture, an image of what to look for sure. for precancerous. Yeah. We'll go ahead and yeah. look for that link. So Yeah, a lot of people even know it's there. They said, yeah, I got this back in there. It's been there for a while. Mm, okay, yeah. you know, how long do you want to play with the devil, you know? Sure, sure. <laughs> mm, good point. So. All right. All right, well, let's go ahead and wrap up the three takeaways for this episode, which we're talking about the number one reason people don't visit the dentist. Yeah. And the number one takeaway is? Well, people don't see a dentist because of lack of pain. Okay. So uh, let's not let the pain be your motivator. Why don't you use the calendar instead? Mm. Okay. Mm. Let's look at the calendar. You're making sure you're getting an oral exam, you know, once or twice a year. Make sure that everything in your mouth is good and healthy. So again, don't wait for the pain. Look at the calendar okay. and make sure you're getting regular oral checkups. I tell people I'd much rather change my oil than replace my engine. Ooh. Okay? Yeah. Makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. Number two takeaway was see a good dentist. Yeah. Uh, not all dentists are alike. Not all physicians. Not all auto mechanics. Not all electricians. I mean, it's just reality, okay? Mm -hmm. So make sure you find a good dentist. We've got an episode on how you how you can find a good dentist or what steps you can take in finding a good dentist. Yeah. Because there are good dentists everywhere, okay? Yeah. There are also other than good dentists in many places. So you've mm -hmm. got to be careful, mm -hmm. you know, that you're, you're, you're talking with a good dentist. So, yeah, be timely. Get a good examination. And we'll make sure to put a link up for how to find a good dentist, too. Because we'll we put, put that, that on episode that. on okay, that. Good. And then the last one was to follow through with what the dentist tells you to do. Yeah, when the dentist tells you you've got these issues going on, um, take care of them. Mm -hmm. Especially if there's any infection issues, any airway issues, any bite issues. Those are things that are affecting way more than your smile and chewing and talking. Mm -hmm. It's affecting your whole body. So you gotta you got to treat it. Knowledge is not power. Just because you know about it doesn't mean it's... It's taken care of. Mm -hmm. Now you have to actually do something about it and, and get mm -hmm. it taken care of. You're smart. I like that. That's the school of hard knocks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us for this week's episode of Your Filthy Mouth. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And yeah. most important, we just can't stress this enough, share the information yeah. with your family and your network and your coworkers and people in line at the grocery store <laughs> to share with them that <laughs> what's happening in your mouth is affecting the rest of your body. And uh, again, subscribe and we'll see you next week. Perfect. Yeah. Be good. <laughs> this has been Your Filthy Mouth, a weekly podcast about how what happens in your mouth affects the rest of your body. This is important information, so please share it with your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on YouTube, iTunes, and all the other podcast sites. And drop by yourfilthymouth.com to ask Dr. Chuck a question or find dozens of links to information about oral systemic health. We'll talk to you next week. <laughs>